What it do, YouTube, man? What's up, Jason? Boy, shit, Josh, back now. Video, my nigga, back now. Fucking reaction. Welcome back to my fucking channel. The harsh truth about the goat debate. Throwback Thursday. I decided to come react to this shit, man. I seen this shit like two days ago. I seen this, and I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm, I was gonna react to it then, but I was like, nah, I'm gonna wait till Thursday. You feel me? Throwback Thursday reaction. This came out 11 months ago. Jimmy High Roller posted this 11 months ago, though. So you feel me? A lot of shit can change in 11 months. You feel me? Um, you know, Col not Kobe. Brian broke the scoring record. Like what? Two months ago, not even two months ago, a month ago, whatever, however long he just broke the scoring record, bro. So it's like, that can change somebody's opinion. The scoring record can change somebody's opinion. Because I've seen a lot of people say, Paul Pierce and Kevin Garnett even said, it. you know, they little thing. They even said that they feel like LeBron the GOAT now, you know. But, you know, a lot of a lot of opinions can change, you feel me, in, in the span of 11 months. and Because uh, new shit can occur. New, Like I said, LeBron broke the scoring record. But I'm not going. I'm not going to be doing a lot of talking. I'm going to be listening. I'm not going, I ain't going to be on no bias shit. If he's saying, if he speak, if, if Jimmy High Roller is spitting facts, I'm going to agree with him. But if it's something I disagree with, bro, I'm going to let you know. I'm going to pause that bitch and I'm going to tell you I'm disagreeing with it. But the harsh truth about the GOAT debate, uh, Jordan versus LeBron, like I said, this came out 11 months ago. So you really can't, like, not everything going to be updated because Brian broke the scoring record just recently now. But we finna see what Jimmy High Roller talking about. Y'all boys tap in. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll do a video. Let's get to this motherfucker. Let's get to this motherfucker. Ass. Let's see. Let's see the harsh truth, my nigga. Let's see what. Let's see what Jimmy Howard talking about. I ain't never seen this. I ain't never uh, watched it. So yeah, let's see. Y'all know it's Throwback Thursday. Know it's throwback Thursday. We have made like three, three reactions already. Y'all boys tap into them bitches if y'all you know. I'll fuck with your boy. Appreciate all new subscribers. Everybody tapping into the channel. And yeah, let's get to it. Let's see. Let's see the harsh truth. Turn me up, Jimmy. Who? Jimmy! Jimmy! It's never gonna end, is it? LeBron's reign over the NBA. I've just come to the conclusion that LeBron has hacked into the Matrix and has transcended aging. <laughs> he's in his 19th NBA season and is somehow still Give me a one of the best players on the planet. One of the best, he's nigga. Top five best player, nigga. Top three. I don't care what nobody say. He's top five, top three. 99% of NBA players peak in their mid to late bro, 20s. Bro, it was a poll. I don't mean to pause. I don't mean to pause. I'm not fit. Like I said, bro, it was just a recently, it was a recent poll, bro. Of uh, And they were saying it was a poll of who they think the best players in the league is. LeBron had the most votes. LeBron is still looked at as the number one player in the league, bro. It was one. It was one. Bron. I think two was. Was it KD? I think it was KD or uh, KD or Giannis. I think it was KD. I don't. I, fuck. I forgot. I forgot the poll, bro. But I promise. You, I literally just seen the poll, bro. Like last week. Like last week, bro. There was. It was a poll went out, bro. Bron was still number. I think he had like thirty something, thirty percent votes of. Uh. I forgot what the percentage was. It was like thirty something. He st they st people still got LeBron at regarded as the number one player in the league today, bro. That shows you. And then as a 38-year-old, bro. Age, eventually becoming a liability to their team and inevitably sailing off into the sunset, washed up and content with their I was like, you ain't Kobe. But not LeBron. The man is fighting his age like he's got a grudge on time itself. And the more he piles up on these mind-bending feats, the more we must ask ourselves the question. And I really hate to do this. But is LeBron the greatest basketball player of all time? And if he isn't, what would he need to do to truly, once and for all, be the GOAT? Thank you. Let's see. Let's let's listen, Jimmy. I'm fan, listen. We all start somewhere, okay? About five years ago, I uploaded my first basketball-related video onto this channel. The title of that video is LeBron the Goat. You can still watch this five years ago? today, but since it's an absolute dog water of a production, I highly recommend you steer clear of it. <laughs> to summarize the video, I gave 10 reasons why LeBron would retire as the Goat. Fast forward five years and thousands of hours of watching games, collecting data, and gathering context in this sport that we love. I've since changed my ways and realized that Michael Jordan is the greatest basketball player of all time. Damn. But my original assessment from five years ago hasn't completely Give me changed. It. Because I never said LeBron was the GOAT at the time. I just gave 10 reasons why LeBron would retire as the GOAT. Okay. But ever since I dropped that video, I've pretty much avoided the GOAT conversation altogether. I've put a spin on the idea of the greatest players in certain aspects of the game. I've talked about the greatest scores. I've ranked players using purely numbers. But... I, I ain't gonna lie, he has. This nigga... 
it's crazy, bro, because what he's saying is true. He he been ranking people on play. Uh, I said he been ranking players off numbers and everything. He been ranking scores because like all everything we've been watching him just been straight numbers. He never just been like, well, yeah, he's definitely like he's definitely the best player. He's definitively like the best player. I've never, I've never heard Jimmy say that. Is, in my opinion, because I just feel like the topic is a bit redundant. It is. ESPN already gives you a daily update on the GOAT debate anyways, so no need for me to do it. But, but ESPN shit bad, bro. ESPN got some, I, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I can't watch ESPN so, sometimes, bro. I, I, I literally steer away from ESPN, bro. Like, I like watching it sometimes, bro. I used to love watching it back then, like, when I was in middle school, cuz, when I'm watching motherfucking, um... What's what's dude name? Damn, what's dude name? How the fuck I forget these niggas' name, bro? I got bad memory. What's dude in name, my bro? Opinion, because I just feel like the topic is Not a bit Shannon redundant. Sharp. What's nigga name, bro? How do, Stephen A. I used to, I used to watch Stephen A. Smith and, and Max Kellerman argue it's now, bro. But now, bro, it's like they, it's like I feel like that shit just. I don't know, bro. I feel like the whole the whole narrative is just to push Jordan as the goat, bro. That's the whole narrative. Because when LeBron finna do some great shit. Something else dropped with Michael Jordan, bro. I just seen a, a movie from the drop called Fly or some shit, pushing how the shoes and everything came the together, bro. Debate. Anyways, so no need for me to do it. But I think it's time we actually discuss this because what LeBron is doing at this point in his career is just absurd. At the moment, there are pretty much three different camps on the whole GOAT debate. People who think Michael Jordan is the GOAT, people who think LeBron is the GOAT, and people who are wrong. <laughs> talking, of course, but not really. I'd say about 75% of people fall into the MJ's the GOAT category, about 20% into the LeBron's the GOAT category, 75%? And about 5% fall into the other category. Usually these other fans believe yeah. the GOAT is Wilt or Kobe or Kareem. Yeah. There's not many of them, but boy, will they die on that hill. See, the thing here is that a lot of the fans in MJ's corner believe that he is and will forever be the GOAT. But realistically, is there anything LeBron can do to surpass him? No, I mean, bro. There's got to be some I ain't gonna sort lie. of objective metric. We can I'm not saying me. I believe it's nothing he can do to pass him, bro. But I feel like people just, is they, they minds already made up that Jordan the GOAT, bro. It's nothing that he can do to pass. It's nothing that he can do to pass um Jordan, bro. Nothing Brian can do to pass Jordan. I feel like that's what people already got their minds made up on. player of all time. No opinions, no bias, just the facts. If LeBron somehow won four more championships and retired with eight rings, he'd undoubtedly be the GOAT, right? So there No, because, because LeBron never three-peated. Because LeBron lost in the finals. Who the Shut the fuck up, bro. Ever. But where does that threshold lie? And what would LeBron have to achieve ah. to get there? Huh? First, let's just take a look at the basic numbers. Between Michael and LeBron, LeBron has more career points, rebounds, assists, blocks, more triple doubles, higher field goal percentage, and a higher three point percentage. And Michael. Look at this shit, bro. Look how this shit is adding up, bro. And LeBron, don't. He got 38. He passed Kareem now, all time leading, bro. That's. Has more steals and a higher free throw percentage. But this whole argument, the career totals argument, is only useful in demonstrating LeBron's longevity and That's sustained true. excellence. That's true. These numbers don't prove that LeBron's a better scorer or rebounder or defender or shooter than Jordan. They just prove that LeBron's been good at these things for a very, very long time. These numbers. So wouldn't that mean he's a what? That makes no sense. That makes no sense, bro. That makes no sense, bro. To be honest, if you if you you can't say he's been good at these things for a very long time, but then not say he's well, he's not better than that at Michael Jordan. He's not better than that than Michael Jordan, bro. That's that makes no sense. Cause if I've been better at blocking shots for a very long time, but Jordan was a good was a good block, shot blocker in his day, but I did it for longer than he did, nigga. I'm better than I'm better than that. I'm I'm a better shot blocker. That makes no just sense. That LeBron's been good at these things for a very makes no very sense. Long time. These numbers also show just how versatile LeBron is, possibly his most valuable Dang. asset. So instead of looking at career totals, let's look at career averages. Michael averages more points and more steals, and LeBron averages more assists and more rebounds. Okay. And as much as it pains me to say this, this is usually where the argument for the GOAT ends for most people. Throw in a required comment about their finals records and you pretty much have a condensed version yeah. of most GOAT debates. But there is so much more to unpack here. So let's unpack it. I ain't gonna count what he just said. Network. 
People look at the averages and be like, oh, Jordan averaged 30 points per game. He's 6 0 in the finals. He's so reliable. His mentality was different. Bro, the United States Postal Service. How is this because instead of passing the ball, you decide to shoot the bitch? That means you have a better mentality, bro? I don't know. I see you. Okay. So y'all know how much I like advanced stats. They don't tell the full story, but if you know which ones to look for, you can discover some nuances in a player's game that you won't get by just watching them play. Player efficiency rating, win shares per 48, offensive box plus minus, defensive box plus minus, value over replacements, and true shooting percentage. These six advanced stats give us efficiency, production, value, impact, and pretty much everything in between. And in these six advanced statistics, Michael Jordan exceeds LeBron in five of them. He's more efficient overall. He contributes to more wins. He contributes to more points. He's better on defense. And he is generally more valuable on the court than LeBron is. Damn. The only advanced stat where LeBron tops Jordan is true shooting percentage. True shooting percentage, obviously, yeah. In terms of who's a better basketball player, nearly every metric points to Michael Jordan. But, well, but doesn't this have, but doesn't this go against I'm not saying that, but doesn't this doesn't this have to do with the um the the like who you going against though? Cause I, I ain't gonna count me, bro. I look at Jordan who Jordan played against, bro. It's nothing compared to against who LeBron played against, bro, to be honest, bro. Let's let's be honest, bro. Doesn't that have to do deal with who you played against, bro? And I know y'all gonna say, bro, if, if LeBron played in Jordan where well, he wouldn't make it past one game, he would just be crying. Bro, what? You honestly believe that, cuz? Just because you see highlights of niggas getting bammed and shit, bro? LeBron is physically more superior than fucking Jordan, bro. You don't think a 6'9", 260 LeBron is running through niggas, bro, dunking on them, bro? You don't think if Jordan was in this... You don't think if Jordan was in this this day, it was in this era, bro, he would be doing the same thing LeBron would be doing? Less fouls would call back then, of course. So, of course, nigga, Jordan didn't have to um, complain about it. Nigga, LeBron be getting hacked. Clearly hat, bro. And y'all niggas try to y'all try to dismiss the fact that he be getting hat, bro. But Jordan, nigga, if they were if they were calling fouls for Jordan like that back in the day, you don't think Jordan would be already used to getting them foul calls? So of course he's gonna be like, damn, what a foul call at these that? numbers. And it's actually uncanny just how close LeBron is to MJ across the board. Just a fraction behind Jordan in pretty much everything. But these numbers aren't even addressing who's greater, because that conversation would involve accolades and accomplishments and impact on the game. Take True. away the rings, the influence, the intangibles, the opinions, and it's virtually, objectively true that Michael was a better basketball player than LeBron. But the GOAT debate isn't necessarily about- See, bro, I can't necessarily- Bro, but I, I, just, I just can't say that, bro. I, I, I can't say that, bro, because it's just like- I feel like the the, the eras they played in, I know y'all gonna say, bro, the era back then was way harder, rule changes and stuff. Bro, you know you you know back then you couldn't even help on defense, cuz it's basically a one on one. And then if the big in there, you're gonna get dunked on, of course, but it's basically one on one. Now you got you gotta worry about freaking help. You gotta worry about help side defense, bro. You know that that was a that's that's a what's it called it back then, bro. Y'all don't speak on that though. How defense couldn't help back then though. Y'all don't speak on that on that um on that rule change, it used to be basically a one on one. I could just go past him, and I just got to worry about the big finish on the big defense. Couldn't help. It couldn't be no. It, I couldn't run zone and sit back. So it was like y'all be is the better player. I don't know, bro. It's about I don't who know, is the yeah. greatest player. We've got some more unpacking to do. Now, we cannot have a thorough GOAT debate without discussing the accomplishments of each player. Numbers are cool True. and they have their purpose, but numbers alone aren't indicative of greatness. They're just a vehicle to greatness. This is why, despite James Harden spending half a decade piling up some of the greatest scoring numbers in NBA history, most people don't consider him greater than some players with far lesser offensive numbers. The numbers complement the hey. accolades, not the other way around. This is also why I consider Wilt Chamberlain to have been a better basketball player than Bill Russell, but Bill Russell was greater than Wilt. No, Wilt's he was not. Is great. No, he's not, bro. See, that right there, you just threw me off, bro. Wilt is greater than Wilt is greater than Bill Russell, and he's a better basketball player than Bill Russell. Yeah, Bill Russell was on a better team. Bill Russell, I ain't gonna say he contributed to. I mean, he was a better defender, yeah, but he's not greater just because he has eleven titles. Don't mean he's greater than Wilt Chamberlain, bro. It doesn't mean that. 
He was just on a way better team. His team was stacked as fuck back it then. What are you talking about? Numbers. Whereas Russell achieved his greatness by contributing to an unrelenting style of winning basketball. So that's what I'm saying. His team was way dominant. Nigga, put Will, put Will on the on the on the motherfucking Celtics and put motherfucking Bill Russell on whatever team Will was playing for, bro. Niggas wouldn't even be talking about Bill Russell, cuz Bill Russell was Jordan basically Draymond. James. Now there are plenty of other Nigga couldn't get buckets, he just played NBA, defense. But these are the ones that really stand out on a player's resume. Championships, finals MVPs, regular season MVPs, defensive player of the year, all NBA selections, and all defensive team selections. And amongst these six categories, Jordan, Jordan passes LeBron him everything. In five of them. And my all, all of this in just 15 seasons to LeBron's full 18 seasons. I ain't gonna cap, bro. Don't get mad at me for saying this. I feel like LeBron's supposed to have way more MVPs, bro. Finals MVPs, finals and everything, that's different. But MVPs, bro, I feel like LeBron's supposed to have way more MVPs. Then he definitely supposed to have a defense player of the year. But they gave that bitch to who they gave that bitch to? Who did they? Oh my god, they did my dog dirty that year, bro. I feel like it's certain shit. I feel like they I don't know, bro. I don't want to say it that y'all gonna be looking at me like, bro, it's of course a LeBron fan will say that. But I feel like certain shit they just did because they didn't want Braun to surpass Jordan, bro. No cap, bro. LeBron's supposed to have more than four MVPs, bro. Like, just like how Kobe's supposed to have more than one MVP, cuz. He's supposed to have a defense player of the year. I forgot who did they give it to that one year, cuz. Fuck, I forgot who they gave it to that one year, bro. But he was supposed to have a defense player of the year. That nigga was leading in blocks, everything. That nigga defense, that, was it when he was with Miami? It definitely was when he was with Miami, cuz. But I don't know, cuz. I don't know. I just feel like certain, certain shit. LeBron they just don't want they don't they just don't want Jordan to be surpassed bro so the outperforming I don't michael know. is in all nba selections and most will argue that again this is an accomplishment of longevity, longevity yeah we know we know else, Fuck up. which at this point seems to be the overall theme in the goat debate up to this point in his career the majority of fans will agree that lebron has been a step below jordan in terms of greatness so now the race to become the goat has become <laughs> a marathon because eventually the sheer volume of lebron's career numbers and achievements may become so overwhelming that we'll have no choice but to concede that he is in fact the greatest player of all time which brings us to a real dilemma Damn. in this age-old debate mr clean multi-surface liquid cleaner oh, enjoy the long-lasting freshness the long after bad. the clean come on now I'm over here trying to listen to the goat debate. Y'all talking about Mr. Clean and Valley and shit. Search, Who the fuck? I don't care about this shit, bro. Let me, let me react to my Jimmy High Roller video, man. Pay later. It is so flexible. Fuck Go to Viator.com or click the link below to explore all of their offerings. The flame that burns twice as bright burns half Damn. as long. A great quote by the this ancient nigga. Chinese philosopher Lao Tzu regarding the idea of excellence and the sustainability of it. Almost as if you can have longevity or be exceptional, but you can't have both. Now, in the world of basketball and sports in general, usually being exceptional translates to longevity and vice versa. Michael Jordan was excellent for 13 seasons in the NBA. His flame was violently bright and it burned for quite some time. But what if there was a flame that burned about 95% as bright and lasted much, much longer? At a certain point, the radiance of even the brightest flame is outclassed by the flame that just won't quit. Of course. I ain't gonna lie. That's a good ass statement, bro. That's a great ass statement. Nigga. I've never thought about that. No cap. Much longer. You can say like Jordan Flame. Um, what's, what did this nigga just say? a flame that burned about 95 yeah jordan flame bright. burnt brighter bro but you gotta think about it and Juan flame much, burnt longer. longer you can think about it like that's a, i ain't gonna count i ain't never thought about it in a sense like in a sense like that flame is outclassed by the flame that just won't like damn nigga yeah, yeah you you was great for for that short period of time you was great you was you was the motherfucking greatest but this nigga been great since he first came in the league and he's still great now for 17 seasons he might he might not have you feel me? Got six, six, no in the finals and everything, or got six MVPs. But this nigga is damn near like if yo if yo flame on a hundred percent, this nigga flame on like ninety eight percent. But his shit just his shit just um burning way longer than yours did. LeBron isn't a flame. He's a six foot nine inch, two hundred and fifty pound freak of nature in basketball shoes. But his light shines about ninety five percent as bright as Michael Jordan's did, and it's lasting a whole lot longer. longer. 
When does the longevity of LeBron's brilliance simply outmatch the slightly greater but much shorter brilliance of Michael? Because as we've discussed, Mike trumps LeBron in pretty much every single metric other than longevity and overall production. So real? the real question here is how much longer will LeBron have to be excellent before the majority agrees that he is greater than Michael was? The well, listen to what he just said. Listen to what he just said, bro. Longevity and overall production. Longevity and overall production. If somebody over overall production is better than yours, bro, does that not make him better than you, bro? I'm, I'm just saying, does that not make him better than you? Does that like if he produces more than you, bro? Yeah, you was a great scorer. You feel me? But if I'm a great scorer, nigga, passer, defender, I control my team, nigga. I'm running the offense. Yeah, I might ain't, I might ain't win as much as you. You got six finals MVPs. I got, I got four. I got four finals. But does that not make this nigga greater than you, bro? He he surpasses you in everything. Scoring, he, he surpasses you in rebounds, assists. Like, does that if his production? This man is top ten in in three of major categories, bro. I, I'm if Jordan, I still say this. If Jordan never, I believe this. If Jordan never retired them two times, I still don't think he would be a top ten in every category like LeBron, bro. He might be number one in scoring, probably yeah. But that so nigga the real wouldn't be here is how much top longer will top ten in the three major categories. The so if a nigga is, is if a nigga production is better than yours, does that not make him better than you? The man is in his nineteenth NBA season and he's leading the NBA in scoring. He's still a top five player in the league and his bag is getting deeper and deeper with every season. Here's a chart of LeBron's total points, assists, and rebound averages throughout each season of his career. Each points on the graph represents the total average of points, assists, and rebounds for every season of his career. PAR, yeah, so, PAR. for example, this season LeBron is putting up eight, six, and 30 a game. So his Damn. total for the season is 44. Now, in the NBA, anything above a total of 40 is exceptional. LeBron's total production has exceeded 40 in 17 different seasons. Now, here's Michael's total average Damn. points, assists, and rebounds for every season of his career. Hold on, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. When that nigga, I seen you 49, boy, I said, damn. <laughs> damn. Hold on. Hold on. One, two. Damn. Hold on. He got one, one right here. One right here. One right here, one right here. Then he dropped, he dropped. This is by far the greatest argument in favor of LeBron in the GOAT debate. The man has simply sustained excellence for longer than Mike did. Yeah. And although the numbers are just a vehicle to greatness, there has got to be a point where the numbers are just too glaring to ignore. LeBron's numbers are getting to that point. But some fans will argue that there were other players that were still really good this late in their career. You mean like Kareem Ooh. or Kobe or Karl Malone? They weren't even close. Nobody LeBron's was close, bro. Nobody is doing what LeBron is doing this late in his career. If you argue that shit, you're a dumbass idiot, bro. Nobody's doing this shit, bro. Let's let's be honest, bro. Nobody at 39, bro, pushing 40 is averaging 38 and 6. Let's be honest, bro. Nobody. If you if you honestly think that, bro, if you think Jordan at 39 would be averaging this. You're a fucking idiot. If you think Kobe, rest in peace, Kobe. If you think Kobe, Kobe even did it. He wasn't, he, Kobe was averaging like 50. How much Kobe averaged his last season, bro? Nothing, nothing like this, bro. What the fuck you, the like, shut the fuck up, bro. The part of the 30K, 10K, 10K club. Aside from a freak injury, he'll undoubtedly break Kareem's scoring record. He already did it. He'll probably play the most seasons in an NBA career. He already has the record for most All-NBA selections, and he's still adding to what is probably the longest career highlight reel with moments like this. If LeBron is still doing this in At a couple 39, of years, bro? while still putting up All-NBA numbers, I really think it's going to be difficult to say that he's not the, the greatest player ever. <laughs> You need I ain't gonna lie, bro. Jimmy Howell, you making me think different of it, bro. You made me, you, like, what you just, that statement you said, it made me think different of it. No cap, please. And protect sensitive data. Advanced yeah, Jordan Flame was brighter. Jordan had her, like, you feel me? In his prom, Jordan, Jordan's career was probably better. But longevity-wise, bro, I think Brian, Brian, uh, prom lasted longer than anybody in fucking... Everybody you know in fucking I'm league history, say, bro. While LeBron's legacy is growing as he plays more seasons, Michael's legacy would have been slightly diminished if he played more seasons. Of course, this isn't a matter of fact, but all the evidence points towards this assumption. 
Michael Jordan retiring after playing just 13 NBA seasons in 1998 was the best thing he could have ever done for his legacy. Nigga, and him retiring the first time, bro, because I ain't gonna lie. A lot of players even said it, bro. A lot of players back then even said it. The Bulls, if they faced off against the Rockets, bro, they were not gonna beat them, bro. They were not gonna beat them. If you look at the motherfucking, if you look at their matchups, Jordan versus Hakeem, Hakeem has beat Jordan way more times in their career, bro. So I feel like, I think he did that shit on purpose, cuz, no cap. He knew he was gonna lose to Hakeem, bro. He knew that shit, bro. A, every, a lot of players in the NBA say that shit. A lot of players in the NBA say that shit. If you look at the matchups between the Rockets and the Bulls, with Hakeem and motherfucking Jordan on there, Hakeem has beat Jordan more times in their career, bro. So if you think about that in that situation, yeah, if if Jordan would have played against Hakeem, I'm not saying he would. I don't know. I think he would have lost. I think Hakeem would have beat him. Bro. No cap. I think Hakeem was going to beat him. The backbone of the dynasty he had built had all but vanished by the beginning of the 1999 season. If he had played through that three-year retirement gap from 1999 to 2001, he would have either stayed with the Bulls and put up huge numbers on a losing team, or signed with a different team and chased rings. Both options being far less illustrious than him going out on top with the team that drafted him. Michael's career was the perfect storm. He was perfect drafted story. by a franchise that was ready and willing to build around him. He was on a roster that suited his skill sets extremely well. And he and the Bulls... I think that's what it is, bro. Jordan's career is a fucking story, bro. It's a perfect-ass story. That's what it is. It's a perfect-ass story. And if you, if, you th if you try to, like... If you try to diminish what I'm saying, bro, you're just an idiot. You're not, you're not listening. Because he, he's saying this right now, too. He got drafted by the team. The, the team that he got drafted by was already ready to, you feel me, build around him and everything. He already came in, came in as one of the faces of the league, bro. Everything he did was perfect. He went perfect in the finals. Nigga was perfect in the motherfucking, uh, nigga went, how many uh, MVPs he got? Six. His shit was a fucking story, bro. So and it was like, fuck it. Instead of just fucking the story up, we might as well keep it perfect. We're going to retire you because we don't know if you're going to be Hakeem. We're going to retire you right here. Then we gonna retire you after the Bulls break up, cause we don't want to fuck up your, we don't want to fuck up your career. His 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 motherfucking career was a fucking story, bro. That's really what it was. The 80s and a early fucking 90s, story. Like the Lakers, Celtics, and Pistons began to fade away. You could not have written a better career if you tried. On the other hand, despite his success, LeBron really got the short end of the deal many times throughout his career. He spent his first seven seasons in the NBA playing for a team that could not have cared less about building a coherent team around him. He spent four straight finals going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the most dominant dynasty in modern NBA history. No, not modern NBA history, nigga. History alone, nigga. NBA history alone, bro. No team, no, no dynasty is better than this team, bro. I don't want to hear you say fucking... The Bulls are better than this fucking team, bro. If you believe that, bro, if your old ass really think the Bulls will beat fucking KD, Curry, Clay, Draymond, then they have a good ass fucking bench. You, you're an idiot, bro. I honestly think you're a fucking idiot if you think that shit, bro. That I don't care how great Jordan is. They're not beating two of the greatest shooters of all time with KD, a top two scorer of all time, top three scorer of all time, with a great ass defense. With a great ass bench, they're not beating them, bro. And if you not think that, bro, you're just an idiot. Building a coherent team around him, he spent four straight finals going toe to toe. I don't even think Jordan coming back three one. Dynasty in modern NBA history, outside of Jordan's Bulls. While Michael was surrounded by players who were all willing to buy into their system, LeBron has spent many years carrying the load of bad rosters and seemingly incompetent teammates. Part of which is his own fault for trying to play GM and putting together piss That's true. Roster. That's true. I can't. I can't not ask. Too. small nuances because the GOAT debate is very nuanced. As much as people want to act like the whole 6-0 in the finals is the end-all be-all to the discussion, it's just not. If rings were all that mattered, then Bill, Bill Russell, Russell would be the, be the goat. GOAT. Oh, but he played a long time ago. That doesn't count. Okay, well then Robert Ori is the GOAT because he has seven rings to Jordan's six. Well, yeah, but Ori wasn't the best player on any of those championships. Okay, so is the argument about rings, or is it about being the best player on the court, or a mixture of both? Is a player's performance, despite how masterful it was, all in vain if his team loses? Bro, and then look at the fucking people Jordan played. That's my argument, bro. If you honestly believe that Jordan was, like, bro, I said this plenty of times. I, only, only thing I don't, Ron, you fucked up when you lost to the Mavericks, my nigga. When you lost to the Mavs, cuz, that fucked you up. Cuz I don't think Jordan loses to the Mavs, bro. But any other team, bro, I don't think you put Jordan on the Cavs, bro. 
when LeBron first went to the finals against the Spurs, Jordan is not beating the Spurs, bro. Let's be honest. He's not beating the Spurs. He going he I think Jordan on the Miami Heat, he's gonna beat, he gonna beat Dallas, bro. No cap. Cause I don't think Jordan gonna do what LeBron did. LeBron, you nutted up. I don't think I don't, I don't think Jordan's beat. I don't think he's losing to the motherfucking Mavs, bro. All the finals LeBron won. I don't. I think. I think Jordan will win, bro. All except the three one. I don't think. Le, I don't think Jordan coming back from three one deficit. You put him on that team with fucking Kyrie and them. He's not coming from a three one deficit, bro. That's that's my honest opinion, bro. That's my honest opinion, bro. He's not beating the fucking. He's not beating the fucking Warriors with KD, Kyrie, and fucking. Clay Thompson. Then he's not beating them in 2018 either. When everybody, when Kyrie was gone, K Love wasn't doing shit. His best, his second best player was fucking Iman. Who the fuck was his second best player? Iman Shumpert, nigga. J.R. Smith, Kevin Love, nigga. He's not beating the Warriors, bro. And then the fucking the bubble shit. I mean, I'm. I, so you can't even talk about that, bro. So it's like, what? It was, all in vain if nigga, you put Bron and Jordan shit, bro. I believe Bron is beating these niggas, bro. I believe that shit. 100%. And you can't say, oh, if LeBron played back then, his skill set would be like Sean Kemp. No, you can't do that. Why do, How would you do that? I want LeBron, LeBron as he is right now. You can't try to diminish his skill set and say he's like Sean Kemp. No, you can't do that, nigga. You can't. LeBron doesn't do none of this shit Sean Kemp does. LeBron is a 6'9 point guard. You don't say Magic Johnson is Sean Kemp. You don't say that. You don't say Magic Johnson is Ben Simmons. So don't try to say LeBron James, if he played back then, would be Sean Kemp. No. This nigga's skill set is like Magic Johnson, but greater. 6'9 with 245, 250. Like, you can't try to diminish this nigga saying if he played back then, he would be like Sean Kemp. How? His skill set says nothing like his skill set is nothing like Sean Kemp. Only thing like Sean Kemp is his size and he can jump out the gym, bro. Only thing. Sean Kemp is not coming down doing the shit Bron doing post up phase, nigga. He's not doing passing the ball like LeBron. So how the fuck do you compare LeBron and Sean Kemp? Like y'all, I, I literally believe y'all just say shit just to diminish this nigga greatness. To be honest, loses, to be honest, the line becomes less and less clear the deeper you dig. No single metric can be used to determine this debate, and the unpacking of every small minute detail is a necessary burden. But unfortunately, it's a burden that most fans won't bother to take on. At the moment, I personally believe. Michael Jordan is the greatest basketball player of all time. Him. I also think he's the best basketball player of all time. Yeah. But unlike best player, best best basketball player of all time, I can't give it to him, bro. He might be the greatest because of you feel me, what he did and then accomplished, what he did and then what he accomplished. But best, like all around best, I can't give it to him, bro. I can't say he's the better, he's the best player of all time. Fans, greatest. That's because of he he went six zero in the finals. His skill set was was great, nigga. Everybody feared Jordan back then. So I can say that. Greatest, yeah. I can say that. But best, I'm not giving it to him. Because he's not a... He, I can't say he a better rebound than, than motherfucking Jordan, than LeBron. Can't say he a better passer than LeBron. LeBron's size plays a part in that 269, 260, bro. That plays a part in it, too. Size plays a part in it. Uh, LeBron's mindset of the game plays a part in it. So I... And then you can't say LeBron is a, that much of a... a, a you can't say Jordan is that much a superior scorer than LeBron because the stats even just showed you. So I can't really – best player of all time, I can't say that. But when you say greatest, I might say that. But best, nah. The nah. door has closed on LeBron. I think that if LeBron can continue to dominate the league for a few more seasons and continue to shatter our previous notions of what we thought was possible in a single NBA career, I think that he has a chance to retire as the greatest player of all time. But of course, only time will tell. And fortunately for LeBron, time seems to perpetually be on his side. Oh, God, dude. Till next time. Hey, bro, that slow ass beat, but that shit was kind of hard. Though. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. The harsh truth about the GOAT debate, man. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it. Uh, I, said, I, had, I said what I had to say, man. Like he just said, when you say greatest, I, I say Jordan probably the greatest of all time because of what he accomplished, because of the stats and everything, because how he was feared amongst everybody. But when you say best, bro, I don't think he's the best player of all time, bro. I don't think he's the best player of all time. I think all around LeBron is a better player than Jordan, uh, and that's just my opinion on it. If you, if you think otherwise, I'd love to hear your opinion. Just don't say no dumbass shit, because if you say some dumbass shit, I'm coming at you, my nigga. No cap. I'm, a, I'm coming at you, my nigga. But the harsh truth about the GOAT debate, 
Y'all boys tap in, man. Like, comment, subscribe, man. I'll do a video. We out, my nigga. Peace.